Welcome to Tea Time Tales. I am your storyteller, Owen Pilgrim, and today I am bringing you the story of The Teapot by Hans Christian Andersen. Once there was a fine porcelain teapot. It had an elegant spout and a strong handle, and it was very proud of these features. Except for its lid. For you see, the lid had been broken and glued back together, and had a crack running through it. And the teapot saw this as a defect, and chose not to speak of it. Because the teapot believed that behind its back, the other parts of the tea service, the teacups and the sugar bowl and the milk jug, would all talk about the teapot's defect, instead of admiring its fine qualities. The teapot believed that the defect, the crack in its lid, brought it modesty, and stopped it from thinking too highly of itself. Because, you see, the teapot was the most important thing on the table, of course. The sugar bowl had a lid, the milk jug had a handle, but the teapot had both, and had the elegant spout as well. For then it must be the queen of the table, and there it stood proudly in the middle. And boiling bland water would be brought and poured inside to be brewed up with the tea leaves to make a fine drink for everyone to enjoy. The teapot's job was certainly the most important of all. And these are the things a teapot would think in its youth, as it stood there for years in the middle of the table, the centerpiece of the tea service. Until one day, a delicate hand picked up the full teapot, full of delicious tea. But the delicate hand was clumsy and dropped the teapot. And the teapot fell to the floor, the spout snapped off, and the handle was broken and tea poured out all over the floor. And everyone looked at the teapot with disgust, for it no longer had any use to them in the tea service. And so it was picked up and taken outside and left in a corner of the garden. And there it fell unloved and neglected, and felt its purpose was over, and this was it, the end of its life. And that's how the teapot felt for many days as it stood there in the garden. But then one day, a hand picked up the teapot and filled it full of earth. And the teapot thought for certain it was being buried, but the hand, once it had filled it with earth, made a hole and stuck a bulb into the teapot. It was a flower bulb. The teapot felt strange. It felt like it had a new purpose. It felt life growing inside of it. It felt the bulb start to give out roots into the earth. It felt a stem beginning to push up through the soil. And it felt the bulb as its own heart. It felt life in it like it never felt before. And the teapot felt this flower growing and growing up and up until finally it blossomed into a beautiful color, and the teapot felt very proud indeed. And people would come along to see the flower, and they would barely even look at the teapot. But the teapot felt it had such a purpose now to be holding this beautiful life that was growing inside it. It felt like it had never felt before. For you see, something may have purpose. And then later in life its purpose may change. And this is what the teapot learned as it stood there proudly holding its flower. Then one day someone came along and they said, Well, I think the flower needs a bigger pot. It's gotten too big for the teapot. And they picked it up. There was a crack and a thump and the teapot broke into pieces. And the flower was removed and put somewhere else. And the broken shards of the teapot were thrown away onto the rubbish heap. And even if you go and speak to those shards that were once the teapot, you'll see that they're still happy. They're content with the memory of the life that it once held within it. Of the life it had of being on the table. And those shards stayed there happy for the rest of their days. And that is the story of The Teapot by Hans Christian Andersen. 
Thank you for joining me on Tea Time Tales, presented by the Telltale Tea Company.